Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys, it's Alicia here, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about something not as happy as we always talk about, like art. Which actually is the reason for this video. <laughs> um, I know a lot of you also struggle with like an art, art anxiety. And I just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to open up about it because I know that some people look up to me as an artist. I hear it from you uh, pretty often, so I have to be honest with you guys. I just feel like the feeling, I get the feeling of anxiety. I don't necessarily have chronic anxiety, but um, I have some kind of... I'm, I'm just going to tell you about my... my experiences with art anxiety, artist's anxiety, freelancer anxiety, and maybe you can relate to that. So, um, as an artist who, I'm, I'm an artist as my job, and I have a lot of responsibilities, I am on my own, actually. Everything I have, everything I do, every responsibility I have is only my responsibility. Because I am my, my own job, I have my own home, everything is on me. And this gives me a lot of anxiety too. And then I, if I don't want to lose it, if I want to keep living the way I just live right now, I have to draw. And every artist knows that if you draw, when you draw you don't really have control over if you feel like drawing, if you um, if you have inspiration, motivation and sometimes it might be it might sound silly for some people that don't know this feeling but when you don't feel like drawing you will just be unable to draw sometimes and I get I get this very strong anxiety that I can't work and then I will lose my job, I lose my job, just my, my business, you know, uh, my house, my home. Everything I have will be ruined and all this weight is on me and on my ability to draw. So when I can't draw, I, I feel like I, I'm in such danger. I get like a panic attack kind of sometimes. I am a pretty strong person overall, I feel like I am dealing with everything pretty well. But I just want to, sh I just wanted to, to tell you, <laughs> well it's, it's not that easy, like everyone will have those moments and I know that my life is very easy, like I can actually make money from art, from drawing, but from the other side I feel like every feeling, every bad feeling is worth talking about so I, I sometimes I feel like it's easier for me to talk to a camera than to people so yeah I decided to make a video about it today for example this is the, the, the inspiration for me to make this video today I, I wanted to draw and drawing is not the only thing I have to do I have to check my emails I have to check different like projects with people, I have to like keep an eye on my website, I have to do so many, I have to draw, I have to post, I have to record videos, I have to edit and I have to do, I have to do all those things and it's just, well, I have ADHD diagnosed so it's very difficult for me to do all those things where I just think about doing them, I have to do taxes, oh my god, I am so bad at those things and for me it's very bipolar I will not care at all and then after a week or two I will like I will ha get a panic attack because I have so many things to do and I I'm scared that I will get in trouble because I didn't do those things for such a long time I didn't check my emails because every time I need to check my emails I get anxiety like very strong anxiety and every time I do it I open my laptop and I I have to tell myself like, okay, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And then I have like 400 emails to read. 
not to read, but to check at least. And then, uh, yeah, it goes every day on and on, and I don't even have control if my if I if it's going to work if everything is going well because everything can just go away just like this because in in my in this business i yeah people can decide to just not care about my art anymore people can decide to not buy my brushes anymore and it's all gone and this anxiety also hangs up above my head it's it's always somewhere so yeah i i think um, And I think a lot of people can relate, like a lot of artists that do it as a job and artists that do it online, how stressful it can be. And I want you to tell me in the comments how it feels for you, what's your experiences and how do you deal with it? Like, I need some help with this. <laughs> I can't, I, I'm, I'm bad at it, actually. Um, anyway. And there's always, and there's also always this pressure that you have to draw something new, something interesting, and you don't get enough likes. And you think, why? That was so pretty. What don't people like about this? And then you draw something good, and you get a lot of likes. And you think, okay, this works. It's good. It's it's good. People like it. And I know likes don't count. Views don't count. No, they actually they actually fucking count. And then you think, okay, then I'm going to do something like this, something similar. You do something similar, and people don't like it anymore. And maybe not even people, it's just the algorithm. The algorithm can go to hell, actually. They change it way, way too often. What, the moment, the second you get it right, you understand the algorithm a little bit, it's changed again. And it gives every artist so much anxiety to artists also that want to grow. They want to have art as a job. They want to do just drawing for a living. But they can't. They can't even get the audience because they can't figure it out. Because it's unfigured... Unfer you can't figure it out. <laughs> and yeah, it's stressful and it's, it's a very hard job. Because you have to be alone, you have to be smart and you have to be all those people for yourself. And it's for every freelancer, actually. So... And you try to make videos and you have to post every day. If you don't post every day, you will not grow. There's so much... People... There's so so much competition. And they, these people are amazing. And then one pe person will grow and you feel, think like... Oh, why is this person growing? Why is it going so well for this person? But not for me. And what what have I what do I have to do? And it's so hard to figure it out. And maybe you will just not figure it out because I did not. I still didn't figure out what I need to do. I try to listen to the algorithm, everything, and I can't. And and I I, I do I, I don't even do the things I like sometimes. Lately I do because I found a way to draw and enjoy it actually. But you have to give the enjoyment away if you want to do it as a job. It's not just drawing anything you want. It's not just doing anything you want. You have to make it fit the business, the social media, everything. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want every, every, every artist that does it as a job, as art, as a job, freelancer. I want you guys to give me, just tell, tell me your opinions in the comments, your experiences. I really want to read them and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you. Bye.